allegations, allegations, allegations. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome to this channel, guys. <laughs> All right, so this video is one that is quite interesting to talk about. Um, we are talking about DNA tests. We are talking about um, infidelity with women, which is a fast rising case with a lot of men secretly and not secretly taking their children for a DNA tests and confirming if they are truly the biological father of these children that they've been fathering all these years now Olawe Waju Kayode is a Nigerian superstar um, a, a footballer who was playing for Manchester City in Europe but following the crisis in his family this man has even terminated his football appointments he's saying now nah, I don't even want to be a footballer anymore because at this point I am tired and according to family and friends Olawe Waju Kayode has um, attempted suicide twice yes he has attempted to take his life twice following the news of his wife not just sleeping with a certain pastor but also selling off some of his properties converting them to her name in order to finance a lifestyle founder and lead minister for spsc ministry located in uk is also in the news this time not for fraudulent activities but for sleeping with a married woman conniving with her to you know sell some of his properties sell some of his cars in order to finance their lifestyle it is now being reported that on larry waji kayode's three children whom he thought i mean whom he shares with dora ezine or larry waju his wife of so many years do not belong to him apparently this woman has been sleeping around on this man since forever even since before he got to know of his wife's relationship with pastor toby adeboega um, in a recent turn of events, it is now being alleged that um, his three kids are not his and Kayode is just beyond devastated. Now, let's look at it this way. Both of them are already in court. You know, there's already been several injunctions, several, you know, things being spoken. Kayode has come out publicly to say, if you do any business with Eze Nedora and you're getting properties from her, you're getting cars from her, just now these are my cars and I'm going to come for them. I'm in the court to request, you know, her to not be able to do any of these things with my property um, because she's working with Dora, um, with um, Pastor Toby at the Boyega to siphon and take my money from me. And now, if you now had add the fact that his three children are not his, coupled with the fact that Dora has been said to have lied to Kayode from the very beginning, apparently she's seven years older than she mentioned to Kayode. So for their union to work, she had reduced her age by seven years because she was way older than Kayode, and she knew that Kayode Olariwaj would not have, you know, gotten together with her if she had reviewed her real age. So that happened. And then um he got to know that she had lied about her age she had been sleeping around on him went for dna test the children are not his and if this gets to court and it's like a new twist to the custody battle because if you're a lawyer or if you're not even a lawyer if, or if you know how this thing works i would like to hear from you can you just come and tell the court of law that see i don't have to give this woman anything i don't have to part with my property i don't have to pay child support because these children are not mine or does it work that because his name is already on the birth certificate, he has to still pay her some money because he is registered legally as the father of these children, even though DNA test has allegedly proven that he's not the father of all three, not even one, all three of these children. And he's, he's fathered them for years, he's provided for them for years how is that going to i mean i'm just quite interested to know the maths and how we maths around this legal custody situation and can she still take his property because now he has a ground for divorce infidelity already established by the if it is really true that the children are not is how did this happen am i impotent did we agree that you should go and get palm from somebody else to fertilize your egg and then i'll take care of these children if that was not agreed upon she slept with somebody else then she got the baby from some from, from any other way it might not be actually has sleep with somebody else but then coupled with this pastor toby situation and it is said that pastor toby is refusing to leave this woman and she's also refusing to leave pastor toby there have been videos of them you know of this woman trying to drive out of the house and the husband blocking her saying you can't leave this house you see this man what did this man add into his too what exactly is going wrong and dora is saying see 
you have known the truth. Let me go and be with Pastor Toby. But and the Pastor Toby is saying, Oh, don't worry, we can be together. Pastor Toby actually is said to have been ordering food from Taste Board. Who is Daddy Freeze's husband? Uh why Daddy Freeze is an associate of of uh what is this called? Of Pastor Toby, and it's even said that it was an associate of Taste Board and Daddy Freeze, boss light in the boss line that introduced Dora to Kyodio, um, that introduced Dora to Toby Adegboyega, Pastor Toby. And that was how it happened, it started in the first place. So he's been ordering food from Taste Boards, delivering it to Dora. She's been feeding her husband, Pastor Toby's boss. <laughs> it's funny to talk about, but in the real sense of it, if you are inside of it, it is not a funny situation. I can't even imagine what Kayo Diadegu, um, Kayo is feeling right now. He's said to have become a shell of himself. He can't do nothing for him. I've even said, guy, I don't even want to be an, a footballer no more. I just want to, you know, solve what's going on with my life currently. This is what I have become. It's quite sad to see that this is what is what has happened to Kayo Diolan Rewaju. But this is still a developing story, so I don't have the full scope of the story. And all of these are just allegations and things that we've heard and things that we've seen and things that Kayo himself has said on the internet. Pastor Toby has not said nothing. He has been doing the giveaway. And people are saying that the giveaway is just to distract people from the evil that he is currently doing to someone else's marriage. So I'm quite interested to hear you. This is not the first time Pastor Toby is going to be in the news for this different reason for infidelity causing chaos you know um, his church members insulting them uh, fraud a lot of times pastor toby has been mentioned it has not been for anything rather uplifting for the lack of a better word so i'm very much interested to hear what you will say and how this case will unfold if you are privy to the matter and you have more details you can let me know in the comment section let's talk about it let's talk about it give me more updates so we'll know how this case progresses anyways guys that's it for this video um thank you so so much for watching subscribe to this channel if you're here to do so this is just tube tv we bring you everything entertainment everything lifestyle news reports and happenings across the globe i will see you in the next one if you enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up and ciao